Welcome to Travel Guide and Photography. I am Larry, your host. As you can tell, we are no longer in Thailand. We are actually in Alaska. We are in Skagway, Alaska. It's very early in the season. It's May. It's my first trip up here this year, even though I have spent eight different summers in Alaska on various cruise ships. This year, I am on the Konings Dam of Holland America Line. We will show you the ship somewhere throughout this series. But right now, we're showing you a little bit about Skagway itself. I am right now in a campground. If you decide to drive up here, Skagway is one of the only cruise ports that you can actually go to that you can drive to. The campground I'm at here, we'll show you in a little bit here. It is $45 a night, which is very, very reasonable. I just was speaking to a family that is up here, a husband and wife from Florida, and they are spending four months the entire summer here in Alaska. But for us, we're on the cruise ship. We're gonna show you all the things to do in the different ports between the excursions, the wildlife and the ports themselves. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Here's another look from the pond at the Poland Creek Campground. During the summer, late summer, this place is just filled with salmon. What they do is come up from the ocean, up the creek here, to head to their spawning grounds. You can see actually how close this campground is to Skagway. It's a wide angle lens, so it looks pretty far away but it's less than a five minute walk from here. So let's take a quick look at the campground itself and then head into town. So this is the beginning of the campground itself. As you can see, everybody's kind of self-contained here. We have some smaller RVs. We have a nice, about a 40 footer right there. Really beautiful rig. See the mountains in the background, right on the other side of that building and those trees is where the cruise ship dock is. That's the railroad dock is what they call it because right next to it is a railroad line that takes you up to the Klondike. And again, just a really nice little campground, $45 a night. You really can't beat that. It has all the power, all the water, everything you need. So let's go ahead and head into town. Again, this is for those of you that decide to drive here to Skagway. It's one of the few cruise ports that you can actually do that. All right, we will see you in town. Okay, this is the very beginning of Skagway, Alaska, coming from the railroad dock maybe seven eight nine minutes from the dock itself three four five minutes actually from the campground that i just showed you one block in is broadway that is the main street you can actually walk from one end of town to the other town in about 10 minutes so let's go ahead in town take a look at skagway and their main street broadway we are at the crossroads in broadway this is the street we came up to the railroad dock if we go this way and turn left you're going to go down to another dock where the other cruise ships are we're the only ship in here today so it's very very quiet it's the very beginning of the year here again goes to a residential area this is broadway this is the main street about a 10 minute walk to the edge of town right here is the red onion saloon it's been around for a long time it actually was a brothel when they first started up here again let's go ahead and take a look at skagway and walk down main street all throughout Skagway are a lot of little stores you can go in and get your souvenirs. This is Richard's. Richard's has been here for a long time. Uh, again, I've been here for many years. It's one of the nicer little shops that you can go to here in Skagway. As I said, a lot of souvenir shops. This is the very beginning of Broadway. It is called Richard's. And you can take a look around. One thing I like to do when I'm here in Alaska, like I said, I've been here many years. I like to support the locals. This is one of the local art shops. It is Taya River. If I am correct. So you can see a lot of different things in here that you can take a look at. Everything from scrimshaw to jewelry. Uh, they have some wood carvings. Just a nice little shop here in Skagway. Lots of fox carvings too, I was just told. Okay, we're a couple blocks into town here. We are now on 3rd Street. If we turn to the left and go down, you're going to see a couple places have been here for a long time. Okay, first place I'm going to show you here is the Klondike Doughboy. It's a great place for Alaskan fry bread. Fry bread is a Native American, kind of like a taco. I've eaten them a lot because I spent a lot of time on Indian reservations. I've been coming here a lot. I think these guys have been around for about four or five years now, if I remember correctly. Hello, girls. So we have some salmon, we have some different jams here, 
sodas, buffalo, bison. All right, and this is where they make your fry bread. Very, very good. We used to make it with honey on it, a little bit of uh, strawberries, some powdered sugar, but you can also turn it into a taco, depending on what they do here. And if I turn back around here, I bet the girls will tell me what they do here. <laughs> We make dough boys. It's a yeast-based dough, and then we stretch it, fry it, coat it with sugar and cinnamon. Sounds great. Have to stop in again one of these times. Okay, I'm here on the cruise ship. I'm here all summer. Okay. I love your fry bed. We've come here for years. Okay, this is another great place to come and grab a bite. It's the Northern Lights Pizzeria. It has pizza. It has Italian food. It has Mexican food. I can't go inside to show you right now because, as I said earlier, we are in the very first week of the season here in May. And they aren't open yet, but again, on 3rd Street, go down Broadway, turn left on 3rd, you will find Northern Lights, you will find Glacial Coffee House, and Alaska Fry Bread at the Klondike Doughboy. Let's head back up to the main street itself and look around a little bit further. Okay, continue to walk down Broadway, one of the places closed right now for the season, will be open during the summer, is the Sweet Tooth Cafe. It's a nice little place to stop in and get something to eat for breakfast. Right across the street is the Bonanza Bar and Grill. They're open pretty much all day from the morning till maybe eight, nine o'clock at night, something like that. Usually have very good music. You can see the help wanted side there. But this place is one of the staples here in Skagway. I've been coming in here for years. Great little place, great music. Bonanza Bar and Grill. Okay, we're continuing to walk down in the middle of the street Broadway, which we can do now because the town is very quiet. We're the only ship here. We're coming up to 4th. We are going to turn right here on 4th. But first, I want to take a look at the outside of it. No need to go inside, but if you need anything, pretty much everything you need, you can find right here at the Skagway Hardware Company and Sporting Goods. So let's go down here, take a look at the Skagway Brewing Company, see if they're open. Then one of my favorite places for Thai food, very good Thai food. I know Thai food, I am from Thailand, and we'll stop by and take a look see if they're open this early in the season. Okay, I hear music, so it does look like the Skagway Brewing Company is open. They moved uh, locations. They used to be at the end of town. Let's go in, take a quick look here. Skagway Brewing Company. Okay, open from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. No matter when your ship gets here, it's going to be here. As I said, they moved from their other location a few years ago. This is their new spot on course. Really nice little bar here. They do have their own brand of beers. They brew here. And they also have a nice little restaurant upstairs. You can get something to eat. Hello. I will say if you're taking out on the ship. And we can also Come in, get yourself some souvenirs here. Okay, I'm at 4th and Broadway. If we turn left, behind us is where we were, the Skyway Brewing Company and Starfire. About a block forward is the Fairway Market, the only grocery store they do have here in town. Kind of small. But it can pretty much cover everything you need. There's also the mountain shop here for clothing and outdoor gear. Taking a look back the other direction, I guess we do have one other ship. It just got here. Not sure what it is. But again, it's about a 10 minute walk to that pier, just like it is to the railroad pier where we are docked on the Holland America Line Conics Dam. Let's continue down Broadway and see what else we have. Between 4th and 5th is one of my favorite places to go here. There's a little alleyway. If you walk down here, it is the back alley rock shop. They have a lot of unique little things, different type of stones or fossils. It's a little bit off to the side. He's always playing great music here. I have forgotten his name. I love stopping this shop over the years. A little bit of blues going on. So again, the back alley rock shop, one of my favorite places here in Skagway. Always a nice, interesting little shop. A great place to come into for souvenirs. Okay, one of the favorite places of everybody here in town, especially when it starts to get a little bit warmer, is the Cone Company. Even here when it's chilly, this time of year in May, early May, 
you can still see people here grabbing some snacks. They do have some ice cream. They have different fudge, different nuts. Great little shop. Been here for a number of years. Hello, ladies. Okay, I can see the clothes sign is in the window there at the Gold Digger. It is one of my favorite places to eat. Great Filipino food. We're going to take a look here at the camera store. I uh, cannot remember the gentleman's name. I met him a few years ago. He opened up a couple years before the uh, pandemic hit. But if you're in Skagway, you need any type of electronic things, any type of camera equipment, this is where you are. Come on by. Okay, this is week two in Skagway. I decided I want to come back and show you this shop, my favorite shop in all of Skagway. It's been here a number of years. It's in the Kermsey's building, Kermsey's Curios, but it's Broadway jewelry and unique gift. As you've noticed before, a lot of the shops here have all the same souvenirs. You can go from one shop to the other. What I really like about Broadway jewelry is it has very, very unique things. So we have some glass sculpture here. This is by Linda. Linda also works here. So some beautiful things. And speaking of Linda, there is Linda right there and the owner manager, Kathy. We've known each other for years because they also carry my photographs. Uh, a while ago, Kathy asked me if I wanted to come in. I was very honored to do that because the reason is I wanted to be in the best gift shop in all of Skagway and this is it. So as you can see, there is a wide variety of things. We have some very, very unique different types of jewelry, things you won't find anywhere else. A lot of silver here as well, not just gold, but silver. We have diamonds, we have a little bit of everything. Christmas decorations. Here's another photographer, Lisa. She also has some very nice work. And again, different jewelry, some different little sculptures. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but play some of the best music in the world, which comes out of the 60s and 70s. <laughs> Some handmade pottery and birch baskets. Native American art. Prints as well. These are from Anchorage, Steve Cross. Really, really nice work as well. Again, very unique things here that you won't find anywhere else. And here, in which I have forgotten his name, this is the Uli Nice Specialist. Really, really nice, Uli Nice. I bought my son, or my grandson, when I brought him up here for a couple of weeks. So you're gonna find very, very traditional things. Again, very, very nice. Everything priced perfectly for you. Things you won't find at any other gift shop here in Skagway or for any of the other ports. I've been up here for nine years. I know where to get the deals. I know where to get the unique finds. And this is it. Broadway jewelry and fine gifts. Okay, we're now at the corner of Fifth and Broadway. My favorite clothing shop, it's been here for a long time, it has a wide variety of clothes. You'll find everything here from t shirts to pants to shoes to hats. So, one of the better shops here as far as looking for clothing. Hello, very good. That's okay. So again, one of the shops here in town has a lot of variety of different clothing articles that you can buy. One of my favorite places to come into, again, hats, shoes, pants, jackets, just about everything you need, and some nice variety of different t-shirts as well. Okay, another great shop to go to here on 5th, if you're turning left, go down right across the street from the Gold Digger is Duff's Backcountry Outfitters. A lot of camping gear, a lot of different shirts, a lot of hiking gear. They let you know about the trails in the area. One of the stores I like frequenting myself, I've been here for a number of years. So come on into Duff's. Right next to Duff's, we have another one of the stores here that is a favorite of many on the crew. You can come in, get a bunch of snacks. You can get some electronic gear. 
Is this still Radio Shack? Used to be Radio Shack years ago. Grizzlies. Grizzlies. Okay, there we go. So we're in Grizzlies, aka Once Upon a Time Radio Shack here in Skagway. You can read videos, you can get electronic equipment, a little bit of everything in here, including some munchies, some ice cream. And I have run across something that I think is going to be a lot of fun. It's on 5th and State, one block up from Broadway. And it is called Klondike Electric Bicycles. I've been up here to Alaska. This is my ninth summer. One of the best ways to get around and do things on your own is going to be on the electric bikes. You have George here and you have Abby here and Nicole. Nicole, Nicole, who I met last week and lined up this trip. We are going to take a drive over to Dai. It's about 10 miles away. We're going to go through the uh, forest there. It is a rainforest here in Alaska. Um, and just take a look and hopefully run across some different scenery that I'm sure that we'll see. But what I really want to hopefully see, if I'm lucky, is some wildlife. So come on here to Klondike Electric Bikes. Grab yourself a bike, take off, and do your own excursion at your own pace. Okay, we talked about this a few weeks ago. They were closed at that time. I'm glad to see they have opened back up. Come in, see the girls here. Really, really great show. I've seen it a few times over the years. So we're great to come here, see the days of 98 here in Skagway, in the theater on 6th and Broadway. There you go. Come enjoy the show and have a date. <laughs> okay, continuing past the bank here. Like I said, there is a Wells Fargo bank, the only bank here in town. You are also gonna see the post office. If you need it, now you know where it is. On Broadway, just past 6th Street. We're getting pretty close to the edge of town here. We'll see what else is open. I know my favorite Mexican restaurant in all of Alaska is closed. They closed before the pandemic or right around the pandemic. So they're gone. We'll take a look at some of the other shops here. Okay, if you are looking for photography, this is Bearhead Photography here. Uh, Nature's Wildest Moment Gallery has been here for a number of years. This is Barrett. I've known Barrett for a few years. He's the one that's done all this wonderful photography here. So we're going to take a look around again in Skagway towards the edge of town, 7th and Broadway, correct? 7th and Broadway. All right, we're going to give you a quick glimpse here of his stuff. Really, really nice stuff. As a photographer, I really appreciate a lot of his uh, images. Some really unique work. All right. Thank you very much, Barrett. We'll see you each week, as always. <laughs> okay, between 6th and 7th, our couple stores we're going to take a look at here. We got Skagway Outlet Store. We have a Skagway T shirt outlet. They're both together. They've both been here for quite a while. Let's go ahead and take a quick look around. So, again, the T shirt outlet wide variety of different t-shirts towards the edge of town so you're not missing out on other stores if you didn't go to those these two stores are combined again a little bit of everything for just about everybody okay this is the other side of the store they have everything from socks to hats to t-shirts. Different trinkets and souvenirs. So if you think you missed something on one end of town, six, seven blocks down to the far end of town, you're going to find it here. Okay, we are pretty close to the edge of town. We're on 7th and Broadway. We're just in Bearhead Photography, Bearhead's place there. Now we're going to go into Alaska Knife and Lulu store. This has got one of the finest selections of knives of all the ports. Everything's kind of handmade. Everything 
is cultural here. So really, really nice selection. I've been coming in here for a number of years as well. Really great selection on different knives. It's so not just Ulu knives. They have a full selection of different knives here. Couple little t-shirts. Few trinkets. We'll take a look at the Ulu knives here. I also have some scrimshaw. Some of the Ulu knives here. Really nice knives here into collecting knives. And some of the Ulus here. We're just about to six and Broadway. Just show you again some of the architecture here, some of the old time buildings. Again, there's Broadway jewelry and unique gifts. Here's the clothing store. Just some really nice little places here in the middle of town. And all the way down, you see one of the ships. You got a popcorn shop, Alaska shop, clothes shop, just about everything you need. It's really a neat little town. After all the years I've been coming here again, this is my ninth year here. One of my very favorite places to be here. And probably as far as the cruise ports go, my favorite port in all of Alaska.